All right, hey everyone. Sunday afternoon has started. Um, sports are starting, and we have the, uh, the like a phone video here because I'm I'm actually lying in bed. I'm gonna try to go to sleep. Still, still not fully healthy. And and what you can do though with the algorithm is the algorithms. So I have a bunch of different sports in here. We've got football. We've got hockey. We've got NBA. And I believe, most importantly, we have college basketball. And what you can do is, is the philosophy advice that I do stand by is that what, what has always worked, it's just too boring and labor-intensive to do all the time. But when you're lying in bed sometimes and you're still awake, you can do this. There's, there's a math and there's a logic to this, basically. So you've got a team's here in college basketball, especially by order of, of their margin, which is this thing right here. And the margin is the comparison between the two teams. So when a team is way up here on this list over here, and the team of reference in this column is way up top, then that means that they're, they're just such a strong pick team on team against the other team that even if this team on the left that's highlighted gets down like 10 points or something in the first half, if you can get a good line on a team like that, you take it. You know, anything above margin of like, definitely above margin of 20%, and even margin above 10 or 15%. Like all these teams here from probably Nebraska-ish all the way up to, you know, Seton Hall, Wagner, Arizona State, a lot of these teams are going to win. Usually we have days where, like the we have I, multiple times. I think in the last week we've only lost one game or gotten all of these right. When it comes to like the top fifteen games, sometimes like absolutely happens. So, so if you see those teams down, that's the point. Is if you see those teams down, or look at Yale being a huge underdog at plus three fifty against an injured Colorado, that's really relevant information. So. Yale apparently would beat them anyway, but with the injuries also on Colorado, it makes it even more likely that Yale even covers that nine and a half for sure, right? That's what it thinks. So, I mean, that's a margin of 24%. This is crazy, crazy inconsistent with the odds makers. It's just nuts stuff. Maine and Brown, right? So the, the way that you handle this in a straight betting format, what I found profitable is that the start of the game, I bet Maine to win. I actually got them at plus 220, I believe, last night before I did the video. I did a video, it dropped down to 165. <laughs> there you go. Um, Yale stayed about the same, though, I believe. Um, or even got worse. That doesn't work all the time. But take these before the game. The rest of these, where the lines are not great, um, you, you can wait, and you just wait. And like like Wagner is bettable at minus 125. Um but especially if they go down early and you could get them at plus line, that's a straight bet I would make if I'm paying attention. And in Nebraska over Florida State also. Uh, Florida State is not good this year, again. Uh, so you just go down the list and you look at who's on the left, who's on the right, you look at the margin, and you look at the score of the game, and if you, by any chance, you have an opportunity throughout the game where this, this team here on the left is down points, you bet them plus points, especially if it's more than like five or six. Like if you can get a team over here that's supposed to win and they're down by 10 and you can get them plus seven and a half or something in the first half, take it. That 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 is a bet that wins a lot. So that's what I'm going to do when I'm not sleeping today and, and getting better. Uh, in NBA, there's a ton of injuries all over the place. The only thing I saw that looked really st steady and probably winning was Atlanta over the Heat. Because they had a 5% margin anyway, and the Heat apparently have everybody injured or out or something. NBA looks really, really weird and choppy because of all these crazy injuries like 50s and 37s. and fit that That's like people are out with illness or something crazy is going on there. Hockey, I saw a couple games that looked pretty solid, but hockey is always tough and never really good to predict. But it was Winnipeg and it was Seattle. And Seattle comes off as the two pick. Winnipeg comes off as the one pick. Uh, but hockey is just tough. Like I would never say put a hockey game on a parlay because they're just so much tougher than college basketball. So let's go to NFL though. 
to finish off because I did do a bunch of things. And of course, you're going to watch as games happen. Same idea with NFL. If, if the team you have on the left here is losing and you can get them plus points or stuff, you want to take it. But it's not as good as college basketball, I have to be honest with you. It's, it's not. It's, college basketball is just a whole different animal. It's just so, so reliable. There are so many games. So um, stuff I bet here, though, early on was I bet Washington to win because I'm a, I'm a former Redskins fan. I bet the over in this Carolina-Denver game because it was only at 36. I bet over in the Niners game. I bet I bet Cle- – uh-oh, Cleveland got moved around. I bet Cleveland plus three and a half, though. I didn't bet them just to win, so we'll see what happens there. I bet the Rams – I didn't bet the Rams to win, but I will put a little. I bet them plus four, 15 and a half, though, for sure. I want to, I want to see them blow that by more than – I want to see Mahomes beat him by more than two touchdowns and a point. Um, Ravens are now tying Jacksonville, and the tar- Chargers are tying Arizona now. So things are tough. And then Houston is tying – oh, goodness. Houston, yeah, I took Houston plus 14 and a half, too. I did, or 14. Yeah, all right. So basically, that's the update, guys. That's how you win – consistently is to find great outcomes you were trying to get already, but getting these at good lines. Like you'll, you'll get into situations where, where something like, or I can't bet on this Radford Elon game cause I'm in Virginia, but it, if, if I could, you'll see like if Elon goes up like, you know, 12 to five Radford, all of a sudden will be plus plus one fifteen or one twenty. And you just had to wait 10 minutes for them to fall behind in the game. And there's such an ebb and flow in basketball, in college basketball especially, that people call timeouts and get stuff together. And the line fluctuates too much for reality. Everyone has just, a, I guess, a weird recency bias or the algorithms that the, the online sports books are using are too dependent on the score and they're just fluctuating too much. But I guess that's the way the market likes it. And, and so it's there to take advantage of those fluctuations. And that's why live betting is a whole different animal. And, and there's only so much you can do before the game. But if you really want to make money at this every day, that, that's, that, that is a way that I have never lost doing this. And I've only done it like a handful of days because it's too labor intensive. But that's true. I don't think I've ever lost. I, I must have lost one day. But it's rare, and I almost always win. And through the month of November, doing the straight bet, live betting, and cash out as well strategy, I, I don't think I lost in November. I think there was one day, actually, because I did a bunch of these videos in the, earlier in the month when I had energy for this. And then and then I just came back to it here at the tail end here on the 27th because I'm done doing this for every day and moving on this week. And I need to. It's too much. But... um. But I was like, well, what do I do these last few days that I have to do it if I really wanted to be sure I, I made some money? And the answer is, yeah, I remember the day I lost. I did do this like crazy, but I did it wrong, and I lost one day. That's the only day I lost doing this. Um, that's why I stopped because I lost like 200 bucks that day. But I won 700 bucks like the day before or something, and it was a Sunday. So and, – and, and I wasn't doing college basketball yet because I don't think it had started or something. Anyway, point is – you will you will win doing this with the algorithm's assistance because you know that for some reason Maine is a huge margin here. So if Maine drops down by a few points early, you get Maine at 300 again or something like that or plus like nine points or something crazy. That's a bet that's good. I, I bet you you can get a Maine plus points bet in the first half that's very reasonable, like above nine points. And eight, seven, eight or nine, at least seven and a half. And that pick is a really, really, really strong pick, even though Maine's on the road, because this margin is huge. Stuff like that, the algorithm just knows better than us, and it'll win. All right, so good luck, everyone. That's how you can do it live betting if you really want to spend the time. That's the only advice I can stand by about making money regularly doing this is by live betting and get much, much better than reasonable lines on games because the public is overestimating what the outcome is going to be way too early in a college basketball game. All right, so good luck. May all your picks be winning. May all your favorites drop down early and then come back to win late.